What is up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com and in this video we're going to be talking about digital audio workstations and how you can use this type of uh, software, otherwise known as DAW, to create your own sound effects and music that you can use either in, in video projects or perhaps even sell these types of uh, products in uh, various marketplaces. So this is a little bit different from what I usually cover in terms of marketing and design tools, but it tech, you know, it's technically a design tool and then it's a sound design tool. And so I wanted to cover this because this is a really neat utility that you can use in a variety of media related projects for your marketing projects and what have you. So um, this program that I'm using, you can use a variety of DAW or digital audio workstation programs, but this one is as open source freeware called LMMS, which stands for Linux Multimedia Studio. So we'll come back here in here in a moment, but for now, let me hop over to my browser and you can see this uh, program can be downloaded from LMMS.io. It's totally free. It works on all operating systems, I believe. Yeah, Linux, uh, Windows, and Mac. It's really easy to use, really lightweight, fast, and high performing. And um, I like it, so <laughs> I recommend it. Uh, in conjunction with this program, you can use uh, Shopcut, which is a free open source cross-platform video editor that uh, I've recommended in other videos. You can check out uh, my channel and do a search for Shotcut. I have a tutorial on how to uh, use it to create quick video ads that you can, where you can create uh, lots of video permutations for use in things like Facebook, uh, Facebook ads. Like if you're doing uh, uh, split testing, um, for example, I have a method where I use Inkscape, uh, which is a free open source graphic editor that I en enjoy using also in conjunction with shot scut, or shot, shot cut where I create just one image slide with an image with a, a picture and you know a, a, a bit of text that has is an advertisement and then in the in the background you can put you know uh, commercial free music that you can get from various places or you can hop over to your your LMMS doll and you can whip out a, a simple little ditty or something like that or just, you know, a few chords. So this is my sort of open source freeware multimedia tech stack, uh, LMMS, Shotcut, and Inkscape. And then there's a lot of other tools that go along with those things. You can use Pixabay for commercial free images. You can use Unsplash for commercial free images. You can use Deposit Photo and buy images for a buck a piece. You can use a service like, uh, like uh, Vecteezy it gives you an unlimited uh, quantity of uh, free, uh, commercial free uh, uh, vectors and things like that. So there's there's just a lot of things you can do use in conjunction with uh, this this tech stack. Um, the DAW LMMS uses what's called a VSTs, which stands for virtual. Actually, I don't know what what does VST stand for. What does VST stand for? Let's look virtual studio technology. So these VSTs are basically virtualized instruments. And you can do a search for VST freeware and there's sites like pluginsforfree.com where you can find a variety of instruments. And like I said, they're virtualized instruments. So you can find, here's a, here's a precision electric bass. And uh, basically it's just a bass sound that you can use with a synthesizer or you can just pluck out notes in the in the, the piano roll MIDI interface. MIDI, I think, stands for music, musical instrument digital interface or something like that. And so inside LMMS, these MIDI, you can pluck these MIDI notes to create your own compositions. And um, it's really easy to do. You don't even need a MIDI instrument or a controller. You can just open up the piano roll and just come over here and start clicking away at notes. So you get the idea. And you can click on this grid here and create compositions on the fly. You can probably find, uh, you know, some classic, you know, com copyright free MIDI structures 
and then you can just import them into your program and then put whatever sounds you want on top of those. So there's just, there's a lot you can do in this interface. You don't need a synthesizer or a keyboard. It helps if, if you have that ability. Uh, and you can get some for cheap. We'll cover that in a minute. But uh, you can, like I did this composition here without my keyboard. I just did it by clicking on the notes. I put the note section here to one eighth notes. And then I just slowly created this composition. I don't remember how long it took me, probably 15 or 30 minutes or something like that. So check this out. Sorry for turning up the volume there. At the it, it, hopefully that didn't wasn't too loud for you guys, but um, you see, really really simple melody, and anybody can do this kind of thing. You just gotta kind of find your melody here on the piano roll. It's it's pretty easy to do. Anybody can do that. You can create your melody on this track. You can create you know chords on another track, and so on and so forth. And um, you can get free sounds from a site like this. Let's check out this sample of this bass guitar. Actually sounds pretty good for a free instrument. And sometimes with virtual instruments you come across, they kind of sound a little hunky-dory, a little bit, you know, obviously digital. But as you get more familiar with these, that your DAW, you'll start learning about filters uh, how to add reverb, how to add, you know, you know, various types of echo. And so you know, compressors and things like that. And so you can take a free instrument and turn it into something like that sounds like it's on a whole other level. So the power of this kind of thing is really incredible. There's, um, let's say, for example, you, you said to yourself, you know, I would really like to buy a Steinway piano. How much does that cost? Well, according to this, this little site here, somewhere between 70 grand and 150 grand you can get this used steinway model b for 50 grand or if you're like most people and can't afford you know one of the nicest pianos in the world you could come to some site like modart open up their instrument list navigate to their steinway model b grand piano if you don't lose i wonder why that's taking so long and uh you could buy their model b for 60 bucks and so this they have actually sampled digitally sampled this dineway model b here which is apparently a, a, a instrument used by famous classical pianists and get something that sounds like this I mean, that's a really nice piano instrument. And so this is just a, a really incredible facet of the software world where you can get high quality, incredible instruments that would otherwise cost you thousands of dollars for just, you know, 50 bucks at a time or 100 bucks, you know, or whatever. Check out this, uh, check out this uh, Celtic harp. Only 60 bucks here on this website. I think you have to spend like 150 bucks to get the base software. So with this particular service, but you can come to a site like JRR shop. This is another like VST plugin shop. And you can get this organ standalone for Garatan organ for 80 bucks. And uh, it's pretty incredible. And there's a lot of instruments like that. Check out this. Um, a couple of years ago, I got uh, this VST, or sorry, I'm looking at my wrong tab. Uh, where is it? I got this VST for this mini grand piano. And so you can use this interface to drag over this plugin under instrument plugins. You can drag over this vestige thing, which allows you to host VSTs inside the DAW, inside LMMS. 
And then you just click on this icon here and it opens up this interface where you can just click on this folder and then navigate to the, the VST, which is usually a DLL file and just drop that, just open that up. And when you do that, it opens up this, it, it loads up that instrument into this interface and then you can just click show high GUI and it generates a, a user interface for that that virtual instrument and so uh, then uh, uh, pretty much all of the VSTs have some kind of interface so they're like little pieces of software that operate inside your DAW and allow you to create MIDI compositions and the crazy thing about MIDI is you know once you get your notes down if you play them with an instrument or if you just compose them on the on the piano roll like you can come in here select a note and you can move it around <laughs> And you can change the length of it and the pitch. And you can also do velocity here, but that's probably a lot more complicated to do. But anyways, check out this piano. This piano, I got this piano. It's a mini grand piano of some kind. And I got this on sale on JRR Shop a couple years ago for like $15. Listen to this. on like 15 bucks but um so just a, just a really cool software capability you know and if you really get to the uh to another level as i'm kind of entering into another level now you could get you can actually spend more money in high quality virtual instruments than in marketing software believe it or not like this is a program i bought recently it costs like 500 bucks uh, not to be tacky about it, but this uh, is called Omnisphere. It's it's pretty well known in, I guess, that circle. But with Omnisphere, you can take, it's got like 90 or 60 or 90 hardware synthesizers in it. So it's it's like dozens of actual synthesizers in, in one digital interface. And you can take those sounds and you can stack them and uh, and create these incredible you know combo sounds so check this sound out this is a sound that i've been working on recently stuff and uh you know that that's just a matter of getting a fancy plug-in but you could do that you can technically take even some of these analog sounds which they they sound some of these analog sounds sound really obnoxious but you take these analog sounds and you can stack them together and combine them to create similarly just really rich and full and incredible sounds like i think all the sounds in this stack that i created like you can see there's four different synthesizers this, these are all synthesizers from like the 80s or the maybe maybe some of the 90s but it's a lot of these are like 80s level synthesizers i i think i could be mistaken like so you can create some incredible sounds and even if you just did chords you could do that in the piano roll you could you you could use that to create background music. You could use that to maybe even do samples on websites like Pond Five, for example. I don't I don't know what it what you'd have to do to become a vendor, but this is a place I used to look at in the past for like stock free music and uh, or not stock free commercial free music for you know stock music for videos and things like that. And a lot of it is. People, you can see these people are trying to sell. Let's see what this sounds like. Let me let me check this. So that's a little bit more sophisticated, but that's like twenty bucks. Like if you could get a really simple method going, I mean, you could sell your, your stuff for like a dollar, and 
you guys know that I have experience in marketplaces like Upwork and Fiverr. And, you know, if there's a marketplace for it, you can make money with it. You just got to figure out a way to create content. So I might try this. Like what I was thinking about doing was just doing Synthwave at some point. And th some of the Synthwave is more complicated, but it's really just some of the stuff is really simple. Like when you look up Chill Wave, it's... Uh, it's oftentimes just really slow chords. Oh, geez. Sorry. So if you could just do like really layered chords, you wouldn't have to have very much music skill to be able to do that. You just create one single chord in your program and then you can hold sh is it shift i think it's shift oh, let me come back in it's control you can hold control and then you can just drag the notes and you can copy them and then just maybe move them up ting you know like one slot so it's one chord here another chord up here another chord down here and so you could technically create your own chill wave experience uh, and just have a whole channel of chill wave or even sell maybe stock media of chill wave and it would be really simple to do so what this also reminds me of is um what is it called ambience ambience uh, for uh, magical forest <laughs> forest ambience so check this out this is like a really cool idea This guy, he's got like a bubbling brook, right? And then he's got this vibraphone. And he's got these crickets. And these little creatures sounds. Got a little bassoon in there. A little harp glissando. So he comes up with a pattern. And then he just, he just has it loop for two hours. <laughs> you know? And so you could buy some of those like creature sound effects for a few bucks, you know, and then you could just maybe do some simple tunes in your DAW. And even if you, even if you were just, even if you didn't even do any like direct piano roll composition, like you could literally just buy several pieces of cheap stock media for sound effects and creatures and bubbling brook and, you know, a simple tune, and then you could just combine it in your DAW as a single composition and loop it. And then you could export that as mu your music into your shop cut environment. And then you go and you buy a graphic for your, uh, for your uh, enchanted forest, you know, that makes it all jiffy, you know. And now you've spent, you know, what, 15 bucks or something on a video that could very easily like this. This video has 1.6 million views, you know, so just trying to like brainstorm here to give you guys some ideas. Like I'm going to be working on some of this stuff myself in terms of monetization, like, but the, the potential is immense, you know, and there's some amazing things you can do with a doll like LMMS. And so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to cover cover that and check out my uh, my channel Synth Saint. There's nothing on there right now, but slowly over time, I'm going to be experimenting with these kinds of uh, ideas, putting out my own compositions over the next couple of years and also um, maybe trying some of this uh, ambience and chill wave type of thing. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. And uh, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.